All right, some hockey news and uh, busy Friday in sports, Mike. Yeah, Hudson, big games coming up. Uh, despite a rash of injuries and some inexperienced players in their lineup, the Victoria Royals are playing some pretty good hockey as of late. They take a five-game winning streak into tonight's game against the Vancouver Giants. A sixth straight win would be a franchise first. Jordan Cunningham is standing by at Save on Foods Memorial Center with more. Jordan. Yes, Myra, thank you very much. They have uh, a slew of injuries that they've dealt with over the last little while. Every reason not to be winning hockey games, but lo and behold, the Victoria Royals, one of the hottest teams in the WHL, and joining me to talk about their run of success is the man behind the bench, Dave Lowry. And Dave, uh, you guys have tapped into something special here over the last two weeks or so. Absolutely, and I think it just shows you that uh, we do have some depth and, and uh, our young guys have really been able to come in and, and uh, assume large minutes. Five wins in a row, what do we got to do tonight against Vancouver to make it six? I think the big thing is, is we just have to make sure that uh, we're prepared to match their intensity level. And, and obviously Vancouver came in here their last visit and, and uh, really took it to us. So our guys are well aware of that and uh, we know that there's a certain way that we're going to have to play to be successful. And, and uh, we're, you know, we're going to have to make sure that uh, we're physical and we're fast and we're ready to live. I don't know how long it was since you graduated high school, but how was your chemistry back in the day? My chemistry was outstanding. Yeah, and it has been lately. You've had a slew of injuries. Uh, Crooks uh, got dinged up last weekend. Ben Walker has been out. Uh, any uh, any news on guys coming back tonight? Well, Crooks will be in the lineup tonight, and, and uh, moving forward, that is that'll be the only addition. And uh, pink in the rink tomorrow. You got the uh, you got the jacket and tie all picked out. I'm picking the uh, jacket out uh, tomorrow. A pink jacket. Wow, you heard it here first. Can't wait to see that. Good luck tonight, Coach. Thanks so much. All right, Myra, you heard it there. Uh, 705 face-off. Plenty of tickets left for tonight. Tickets almost sold out for Pink in the Rig tomorrow. We'll have all the highlights tonight on CTV News at 11. All right, Jordan, looking forward to all those highlights. Have fun at the game. Uh, Brody Coulter, we've been telling you all week, was chasing greatness heading into last night's game against the Comox Valley Glacier Kings with 104 points, tied for the highest total in VIJHL history. Well, the record is all his. Coulter notched two assists in the first period, then a goal in the second, then added another assist in the third period to give him 108 points. In 41 games this season, the Cougars are now 37-1-2, and, and Coulter is more concerned with the wins and losses than the goals and the assists, but an all-time mark is definitely something to savor. It feels good. Um, like I've said before, though, you know, it's definitely a big tribute to my whole line. I, two players I play with, we had you know, incredible chemistry going, and uh, it's a tribute to them, but uh, you know, it's definitely something I'm proud of. It's been a lot of fun this year. Uh, we've got a good group of guys here, and I'm, you know, not just points wise, uh, you know, just the team itself. It's a fun year all around, and, you know, I can't say enough. Oh, another busy Friday night in the BCHL. Three island teams in action. The Powell River Kings are at the big stick in Duncan tonight to take on the Cowich Valley Capitals. The Nanaimo Clippers take a two game winning streak into tonight's home game against the Trail Smoke Eaters. And the Victoria Grizzlies host the Merritt Centennials at Bear Mountain Arena. The Grizz need one point to become the first team to clinch a playoff spot. They lead the league with 60 points. Well, the Vancouver Canucks go searching for their first road win of the season tonight in Anaheim. A chance at redemption for Corey Schneider, who was lit up for five goals and 14 shots in the Canucks season opener against the Ducks. Just getting that rhythm, get that consistency down where um, you don't have to put up multiple games like that in a row and uh, you can't be satisfied with one game. Just like, you know, I'm not going to let one game get down. Uh, I'm not going to let one game get me too, too far up either. So i um, just got to come back and compete. Well, in case you haven't heard, the Edmonton Oilers won the Stanley Cup last night. Or at least rookie Nail Yakupov celebrated his game-tying goal like they had. Just under five seconds remaining in their game against the Los Angeles Kings. Yakupov batted a loose puck past Jonathan Quick, skates, drops to his knees, and slides pretty much from blue line to blue line. Shades of Theo Fleury circa 91 right there. Except Fleury's goal was an overtime winner that sent their playoff series to a game seven. The Oilers did go on to win this game in overtime thanks to Sam Gagne, who didn't quite celebrate like his teammate, but still a pretty good celly right there. Well, Major League Baseball will be back before we know it. The Toronto Blue Jays are required to report to the team by February 16th. And for Langley's Brett Lowry, that day can't come soon enough. After completely overhauling their pitching staff this offseason, Canada's only Major League Baseball franchise is predicted to be a serious contender. 
Very, very exciting, uh, not only for myself, but for all of Canada, and uh, I'm excited to get this thing going. It's, I'm, I've been waiting, uh, like, seems like two two weeks after baseball ended, I wanted to start up again. But, uh, no, this is a very exciting time because we got a bunch of new guys, and uh, this is a great opportunity for Canada. And for our community. Nice to have Laurie home on the West Coast, and today he, along with GM Alex Anthopoulos and other members of the Blue Jays organization showed their support for the Jays single-A affiliate. Vancouver Canadians held their annual hot stove luncheon and the Blue Jays brass shared their vision for the future. The Victoria baseball community was in attendance. Harbor Cats GM Holly Jones and staff made the trip to pick up some pointers from the pros. I think it's exciting for our front office to get to come and see how they put on events at the uh, the major league level here. You know, the, uh, the Canadians do a great job working with the Blue Jays to put on a first class show and operation. I think it's exciting for our team to be able to see uh, how they do it and how we can hopefully strive to get to this level. They won't get pushed around on the hardwood. The VIU Mariners women's team, they're on the mainland tonight to face the Columbia Bible College Bearcats, a team that has yet to win a game this season. And the Cats are going to have their hand full with a red-hot M squad who are proving that they can run with the best of them. Mariners knocked off first place Capilano last weekend and did it with authority. 73-43 was the final in that game. Awesome for all of us. It just shows that we can definitely, this is like the best we can be, and it's just great to see it. I think it was a confidence booster for us for sure, and we showed ourselves that we can play with like the best in our league and we can compete with everyone. And we just have to um, have 40 minutes like that every game and we can be successful. Yeah, we're on the road for three weeks in a row now, uh, six games, uh, you know, to Vancouver, and uh, we're going to have to win a fair amount of them if we want to stay where we are. And they're in third, so right now they are in the playoff picture. So only lost one game since the Christmas break, so they're turning it on. Well, mm -hmm. well. My thank you. You're welcome.